Hello all attendees, I'm Siddhan from Edureka and I welcome everyone to today's learning journey. Now looking at the rise in the popularity of Internet of Things, I've come up with this tutorial to make sure you people pick or purchase the right development boards for your IoT projects. Now the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi are your go-to boards for all things IoT. But how are they any different and which one should you be using? Well, don't worry. By the end of this session, you could be educating your friends on the same. But before we begin though, let me quickly tell you what exactly I'll be covering in today's session. So for those of you that are still confused on what these devices are, I'll briefly talk about these integrated circuit boards. Then we compare their hardware and software specifications, understand their modes of operation, check out their available boards, and finally conclude with the purpose that each of these boards have been designed for. So without putting it off any further, let's get started. Now computers were a breakthrough in the world of machines, making the operation of any device or machine smarter than ever. And the motherboard in a computer is what drove these operations, either performing logical instructions that have been fed to them or calculating outcomes based on the information they receive. These motherboards let all parts of the computer communicate and act by utilizing the CPU and the memory. In fact, any peripheral connecting to the computer also needs to connect to the motherboard's programmable input output connectors for their operation. Now these motherboards are integrated circuits and with the world trying to minimize the size of devices and make them more portable we now have a variety of similarly capable circuit boards available to help us build smart equipment of our choice and according to our needs now the smartest development boards today zero down to the raspberry pi and the arduino both these integrated circuit boards might have a few things in common but differ majorly in their mode of operation and capabilities and if you've been experimenting with the embedded systems or if the onset of IoT has got you playing with these integrated circuit boards, then you must understand the key differences between them and know the one that will be most suitable for your IoT projects. So let me begin by telling you that the Arduino is based on a microcontroller and is mostly designed to control the electrical components connected to the circuit board in any system. Whereas the Raspberry Pi is based on a microprocessor that computes data and produces valuable outputs and if required, it controls the electrical components in its system based on the outcome of its computation. So basically, the Raspberry Pi is a single board computer, but the Arduino is just a single board microcontroller. So let us start with the comparison by learning more about the hardware and software specifications of the latest models of both these devices. Now the Arduino boards have a very simple hardware and software structure. The Arduino Uno runs on an 8-bit AVR 80 Mega 328 microcontroller on a chip, which has a RAM of 2 kilobytes upon an EEPROM flash memory of 32 kilobytes and clocks a processing speed of 16 megahertz. On the contrary, the Raspberry Pi boards have a complex architecture of hardware and software. The Raspberry Pi 3B Plus comes with a powerful Broadcom BCM 2837B0 microprocessor on a chip as its central processing unit which runs on a 64-bit quad-core processor called the ARM Cortex-A53 featuring a static RAM of 1 GB running directly upon the SD card storage at a clock speed of 1.4 GHz. Now this microchip also acts as the graphics processing unit with a Broadcom Video Core 4 integrated graphics card built into it for low power multimedia processing. Now such a multi-utility microchip is being called a SOC or a system on a chip these days. And besides the processor and the graphics card, they also house other microcontrollers to control their electrical components. So there's plenty of power packed into it even for many add-ons or USB connections. Now most of the other hardware are pretty much the same for both these devices, like timers, voltage regulators, serial peripheral interface buses, inter-integrated circuit, serial UART, and I.O. pins or connectors. But again, the I.O. connectors in Arduino are more capable than the I.O. pins in the Raspberry Pi which must depend on transistors to drive external hardware. Now the Raspberry Pi is still better at logical processing, which means it can compute even complex mathematical operations, enabling it to process and support audios, videos, images, and other GUIs. So it's more like a computer in contrast to the Arduino, which can only control parts of a device and would need additional circuit, software, and communication buses to run audio, video, or any visual graphic at all. Plus the Pi also offers SDMI support, so all that you'll need is just a screen or any display device, removing the need for connecting it to a computer all the time, like with the Arduino. Now this is because the Arduino comes without any operating software. The only little software it has 
is for compiling code to machine level and allowing serial connection for data transfer. This is also why it requires less power and could even operate faster as it only needs to compile code and use the chip directly to control any component. Whereas the Raspberry Pi must enable all required layers of software and utilize different programs to make any task happen. Then again, it is also why the Pi can multitask, doing a variety of tasks at a time, while the Arduino can perform any single task multiple times. So the Arduino offers an ID with the compiler and is the only one that this device supports which means only the codes written here will work and get compiled onto its physical board. This IDE uses basic C and C++ paradigms and breaks down all its functions into accessible packages, making it quite easy to learn and operate. However, with the Raspberry Pi, which supports multiple programming languages and software environments, you'll need to be proficient at coding to get the most out of it. Also, the Pi now comes with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi support for remote connections. In fact, its latest model features faster Ethernet, a dual band of 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz wireless LAN, and an inbuilt web server. While the Arduino features Bluetooth on just one of its boards called the Arduino BT and will require additional circuit for communication over wireless networks or Ethernet. Now, these additional circuits for the Arduino are called shields and are attached to it for extended functionalities. Similarly, in the case of the Raspberry Pi, these extended circuits are called hats. Both are plentifully available, housing diverse functionalities, sensors, motors, actuators, and software on them for interacting with the physical world and driving external hardware according to its host device's capabilities. Okay, now I can see somebody has a question. So Debbie wants to know what is the most popular programming language that is used for coding with the Raspberry Pi? So since the Raspberry Pi is essentially a computer, you can actually run code on it in almost all programming languages. But the most popular one, in my opinion, would be Python as even the Pi's official operating system comes with the default Python IDLE, which is the IDE for Python. So I hope that clears your doubt. If there's any more questions, please keep it coming. Okay, meanwhile, let me move on. So let me now tell you how you can identify the purpose behind using either an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. So the Arduino being more of a microcontroller motherboard is best suited for repetitive tasks like reading and reporting temperature, opening and closing of doors, controlling lights, or building motion detecting alarms. It also works great for creating quick and lightweight prototypes. But the Raspberry Pi is more like a general purpose computer and is good at complex calculations or performing multiple tasks or processing a large amount of data. So if you need a full-fledged computer on a very small scale, the Pi is what you should be looking at. So let us now move on to the different boards that both have had over time and look at some of its prominent ones. So the Arduino has been around for quite a while now and has had multiple boards over the years with different functionalities. Although the Arduino Uno, the Arduino Mega, the Arduino Lillipad, and the Arduino Bluetooth have been the more popular ones. Similarly, the Raspberry Pi, despite being relatively new, is on its third generation with each of its models better than the previous ones. The Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is its latest and most powerful development board yet. That'll be all for today. I hope to see you all again. Until then, happy learning and cheers. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!